too. Okay, before I head out, we'll just head over into Keyshot real quick. And I'll go ahead and fire this up. So we are going to move this laser cannon slightly into place. So again, control shift drag to grab all of my laser cannon pieces, control shift alt to get rid of, and you can click as well to move all these pieces. And now I'll just kind of move this into place here. Good enough. And let me put a little bit of lean on it. Maybe we can hold on alt and move our pivot. We can kind of lean this just a tad like so, and then control shift drag to unselect this. And you know what, let's see if we can't, this is gonna be ugly with my my mouse here, but let's see if we can't just like do a little bit of, so this is basically, instead of doing transpose master, um, oh, this is all one sub tool. So what you can do, let's let this save. Um, we can bring these bones back, I can mask this side of the bones. It's not gonna show you, but it will mask that side of the bone. Oh, you know what? We have to have alt tap the bones to select them and then mask this side of the bones. And now let's turn off X. All right. So we could do this and use masking and move multiple to go ahead and uh, pose this guy. We could also, let's go ahead and do, let's try this. Let's go ahead and do a texture. No. Um, let's do a quick save. I'm going to do shift D, or shift Z to get rid of the spotlight here. And instead of all that, let's try transpose master. So let's go ahead and do Z plugin. Uh, let's do just real quick. Let's go ahead and do clear masks all. I'll just go through all my sub tools and clear all my masks. All right, now let's see if we can't do a quick transpose master. So we'll go to T pose mesh. That's going to take all of my subtools here, go to the lowest subdivision of those subtools, and merge it all into one usable mesh. Okay, so now this is all one mesh. So now if I want to move his arms, for instance, um, oh, you know what? Did I not have? Oh, that's a. I probably want to Z remesh this, Z remesh these Dynamesh pieces, and then project that detail back. It is a lot nicer to work with low subdivision stuff as opposed to higher. But anyway, uh, we can go in here to like say the arms. Just grab these pieces here, if the, and also if I had decent poly groups, that would also help a lot as well. Uh, but we can insert, we can in, uh, invert that selection, Control Shift A, and then we can just remove these pieces that we don't want. And now we've got this arm. I can Control Tap to mask the arm, bring it back. Control Tap this one, and now we can go ahead and just use Transpose Master to go ahead and you know like say rotate this up and over and around. And again, I'm not using a tablet, so this is going to be a little more painful than usual. Urgh. We'll kind of fudge this into place. And then if I want to go ahead and mask these pieces, what I can do is I can hit Q, I can hit W. Let's see if we can do W and control click. Uh, Nah, it'd probably be easier. I mean, there's a couple different ways. You could isolate those, mask them, and then bring it back. I'm going to grab these two pieces here. Q, oh, whoops. We have uh, the stack still turned on. So we're going to go hold down Control Shift. We'll grab these pieces here, Control Shift A, mask, invert, and then we can just go ahead and rotate this one up. Let's go ahead and hold down Alt and position this right in that joint. And again, I'm not going to go crazy with the posing here because I don't have my tablet and I don't want to be here all day. So I'm going to reset this and we can kind of rotate this back a little bit. I don't care too much about that little meat strand. I can just reposition that as well. We'll kind of get this in the place here. Okay, and then for this meat strand here, we'll control shift click this one, mask it, invert it, and then we can just kind of... You know what, this one we don't even really need. I can actually just scale this thing down and shove it in there, call it a day. Good enough. So uh, let's go ahead and rotate this hand around a little bit. So I'm just going to grab a little piece of it, Control Shift A, mask, invert, bring it back. And now we're going to go to Unmash Mesh Center here, reset my pivot. And I'm just holding down Alt. And now we can kind of pose this out. Now, if I was doing this with a tablet, I would go through there and pose the fingers and make it look nice, but that's going to have to do for now. So now that we've done a little bit of posing, with our character here, let's go ahead and say, okay, I want to go back to my mesh. I'm going to go to um, transpose mesh to subtools. 
and that's going to take all of my pieces that I posed here and go ahead and move them into place. Maybe, or maybe I was supposed to hit T-Pose Master. It's been a while since I've been in Transpose Master. All right, so we've got this piece here. So this was our Transpose working file. Here's our new sub tools that have all been moved into place with Transpose Master. And now what I can do is go over 